Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make how to drag parts in Roblox Studio. So if you're looking for to make a game where you can make a milkshake and you can put items like cherries, raspberries, strawberries inside a milkshake, then this video will help out. So basically what it'll let me do is when I click on a cherry, I can drag it with my mouse and put it inside my milkshake. So that's what the video is going to be about and let's hop right into it. So basically there's a tutorial on how to drag parts with your mouse and place them. And, and yeah. So first you want to be on a game file. I created a new base plate. I'm going to make my cherry quickly. And for the milkshake I'm just going to get it from the toolbox. So yeah, so now I have a basic cherry right here. So once you're done with your model, you'd want to union it by going on model and clicking on union. So like this. So this will work on parts and unions but this will not work on models so name it cherry and make a script inside starter player and starter character scripts and delete the default code so first you want to get the user input service you would want to make a variable called picked up part equals false and local part equals now so first the, when the player joins the game he doesn't have a part picked up and the part is nothing since he doesn't have a part picked up so the user input service gets the player's input so uis input began connect a function And inside the per, per, inside you want to add a variable called input. If input user input type is equal to mouse button one down and not picked up part then. So if the player clicks on his left mouse button and the part he doesn't have a part picked up, then it will run this code. So first we need to get everything in the workspace. So if v class name is equal to union operation and um, v name, we don't want to pick up the base plate. <laughs> so Wait, this is not necessary for a union operation. So, and um, you also want to get the mouse position. So, local array equals workspace camera. And viewpoint to array. And you ask, get mouse location. You want to get the X and the Y axis, which are used for 2D games. So basically, this gets the mouse position. So if ray origin, which is the position, plus ray direction, which is the direction it's going, times ray origin minus v position magnitude minus v position magnitude and if it's less than 1 or less than or equal to 1 or if the class name is a part so just copy this paste in here and the name is not equal to the base plate we don't want it to be we don't want to pick up a base plate so once you have that you can put a den 
so yeah. So what this does is it gets the position of the mouse. So let's say if I click here, it'll get the position. But it'll get the position on my screen. So it really, in 3D space, it won't be all the way over to the cherry. We want it to be where the black thing is, the top of the tip of the cherry. So we make the ray direction, we get the ray direction and times it by the distance between my mouse on the screen and the black tip. So then the mouse will be around the black tip, which is good because that's where we clicked. So after you'll get the distance of that and then you want to compare that mouse location with the part part position so which is the cherry and if the distance between it then both is one then it'll fire this code so basically if the mouse location is close enough to the part it'll pick up the cherry which is the part so then picked up part is equal to true and part equals v which is, which is the cherry and local connection equals nil but we're going to make the connection a function so get the run service and render step so what the run service does it fires at 60 times a second And we don't want this run service to always be happening. So once the cherry is not picked up anymore, then we want to close this function. Then connection, we want to disconnect it. Then we want to return and end. So yeah. So but while the cherry is picked up, we we want the position to be the mouse position so we need to keep getting the mouse position and um, the part position equals ray origin plus ray direction times 15 the larger this number the further the part will be away from the player and we also want the orientation to be straight so we need to make the orientation vector free new 0, 0, 0. And we don't want it to collide with the player or else the player will fly over the place. So we want to do the can collide to false. So you can go over and press play. So basically this should work. Okay, so I have I didn't spell position correctly. What the heck? Where is the position? Okay, right here. Okay. Ho first, check all your spelling mistakes and then press play. See, now it follows the mouse wherever it goes. But I'm keep clicking, but it's not gain going back to normal so after i click once then the i'm picking up a part but you want to put it down so you want to click again and put the part back to normal so if i click on the mouse, left mouse button while i'm picking up the part then i want to drop the part so to do this, all you gotta do is put the pick up, up part back to false and the part is nil because there's nothing being picked up. So you can press play again. I click once, it's on my mouse. Click again, it's still on my mouse. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Oh, wait, yeah, you need to remove the knot because I am picking up the part. <laughs> so I click once, click again, it goes back to normal, but it went through the base plate because I didn't put the part back to, can collide back to true. So you test this. And you see, 
It's a little laggy, but it works perfectly fine. You see? And yeah. So once you got that, I'm, I'm going to get the milkshake. So, so I'm just going to get this milkshake over here. Nice little milkshake. To make sure it's not touching the base plate or any other parts, even the cherry or the parts you want to pick up. And inside the model, add a attachment. It doesn't matter where. And name it the same as the cherry. Because if you don't, then you could put... So if I pick up another part that's not a cherry, and I put, put it here, click on here, then it will put it with the milkshake. But I only want the cherry to go to the milkshake. So name it the same as the parts you want to put in there. So, um, yeah. So once you got that, you want to put some code. You want to get everything in the workspace again. This time, if the class name is an attachment, so if it's an attachment, and you want to copy this, so this time V is the attachment, but change the position to world position. So, yeah. So basically, if the mouse, when I click the mouse, and if the mouse position is close enough to attachment, then it will fire this code. So, and you also want to do one more, and V name is equal to the part name, so the part that, that's picked up. So if that's the case, then you want to get the run service again. And this time, this will always be running in the background. It will always be with the milkshake now. So you want so um, the new part equals the part because we change it to nail because then it won't run anymore. So the local new part equals part. New part position equals v world position. And then the new part orientation is equal to v. Wait, no, equals vector three nail zero zero zero. And then the part will be back to nil. It, the player won't pick up the part anymore. And the part can collide. Will be back to true. So if I do this, test it. Okay, there's something wrong with the milkshake. So I'm going to get this one, I guess. Okay, now I need to add the attachment here. Cherry. And the cherry, I want the cherry to be on the top of the milkshake, so right here. I'll also make it visible so I can show you guys. Okay, I pick up the cherry and I put it on the milkshake so and there we go I it works perfectly fine but if I pick up the milkshake it doesn't let me pick it up anyways that that should work fine and if you add another part like let's say that part you put it you pick it up Okay, for some reason it's not picking up. Oh yeah. Okay, no. Or the V classmate class name is equal to a part. I put union operation two times. So now it'll pick up, but if I put it where the attachment is, it won't work. You see? Wait or what? Yeah, you see? I could pick it up again so it doesn't work. 
so I think it's anchored. Hmm. Yeah. But if I put the cherry, it goes where the milkshake is. And yeah, I could pick up the parts in the milkshake, but you see it doesn't work. That's why you want to make your milkshake a union, because look, it's just picking up the parts in the milkshake. So if I ungroup this maybe, and then union it, oh yep. So let's say this is the milkshake. It's just, it's not even going to look like a milkshake. I'm going to union it to show you guys. So you want to add an attachment to the union after and make this cherry. And you want to make it, wait what? Okay, so now you test it. So this will only work for unions and parts. So I put it here. Now it's flying all over the place for some reason. But you see, you see how I can move my milkshake around with the cherry in it. I mean, it's, it's pretty, going pretty crazy. <laughs> That's why you should put the new part can collide to always false. Because you don't want it to be colliding. So if I do this again. See, it picks up and now it's the cherry is not colliding so it's not going all over the place sometimes it disappears which is kind of annoying um yeah so basically that was it for the tutorial it's a pretty long tutorial and there's a lot of things it's simple like there are still a few bugs like sometimes the cherry can disappear under the base plate or it, the physics won't work properly but overall it's pretty decent and i hope you guys enjoy the video and peace out